Well, the default market officer, which sets maximum electricity price increases for households and businesses in New South Wales, South East Queensland and South Australia, is just about to be released. The changes will come into effect on July 1. Joining me now live is National Senator Matt Canavan. Good morning, Senator. We are waiting uh, for that drop from the Australian Energy Regulator. We know that there was a draft offer in March. Do you expect a similar sort of figure today? Well, look, uh, it's probably not going to be good news uh, for Australian households. And unfortunately for those families that have been listening to the Labor Party, they would think that they're going to get their bills cut. Uh, they were promised a $275 cut the election last year. They were then promised about Christmas time last year a $225 reduction. And as you say, that draft... Uh, a uh, draft for a report a few months ago showed only, uh, in fact, increases of a few hundred dollars uh, for every Australian household. And, and look, uh, from the evidence at Senate Estimates this week, it doesn't sound like uh, there'll be much change from that uh, and we're probably likely to get more bad news. I mean, the, the situation here, Danica, is that uh, uh, at the start of the year, uh, four or five months ago, the government were trumpeting the fact that energy future prices had fallen and they, they claimed they'd fallen because they had capped gas prices. Uh, clearly, those prices had come down because the Ukraine war was, uh, was, was sort of ending in terms of energy uh, crisis around the world. And, uh, and, then, and then what's happened in the last few months is, is uh, those future prices have surged by more than 40% in New South Wales. Uh, and so the energy market is far from fixed. Uh, the government's interventions have been a complete failure and, unfortunately, the people who pay for that uh, are those that uh, get a power bill every quarter. I'll just say uh, we've just got that uh, drop now. So it's in line with that draft release. So price increases for customers for residential between 208 to 23.9%, small businesses between 147 to 28.9%. So in line uh, with what was mm. uh, announced back in March there. Earlier on this year, though, Senator, the Australian Energy Regulator, their chair said that without that government intervention that you mentioned, so, of course, uh, the, the cap prices on domestic gas, they said that it would have been a lot higher. So has that not offset the costs for customers? Well, the, as I say, the evidence hasn't hasn't um, borne that out. I mean, that's uh, yeah, that's shocking news. It's just come out there. So those, just to put those in raw figures for people, the average bill is roughly around fifteen hundred dollars a year, a bit more than that in some states, a bit less in others. Uh, and so a twenty percent increase, just over in, in those figures, that's three hundred dollars a year uh, for people who are already struggling. Uh, and as I say, uh, who who thought they had a government that elected a government that was going to cut their power bills by about three hundred dollars a year. Now, in terms of the Australian energy regulators continue promises every few months that they're going to cut bills, well, the evidence is just not there that that's happening. As I said, they pointed to the fact, the Australian energy regulator, when they made those statements, said, yeah, bills are coming down because those future prices have come down. Now, as I said, that was because gas prices came off in Europe late last year uh, as their, their, their winter wasn't as cold as we expected and Russian oil and gas is finding its way to global markets, including to Europe, largely through India. And so that's taken gas prices down. Now, gas prices are much lower now than they were when the Ukraine war started. Global gas prices, that is. Yet here in Australia, we are suffering massive electricity price increases, as I say, including a 40% increase in wholesale prices in New South Wales. I mean, right, right when I'm speaking to you now, the electricity price in New South Wales is $600, over $600 a megawatt hour. It used to be, it used to sit around $40 or $50. Uh, and it regularly spikes right now because we don't have enough reliable power. We've shut down our coal-fired power stations without any replacement. The government's doing nothing to help and support new gas developments. Uh, and they think they can have a magic wand here in Canberra, put on a price cap and everything will be hunky-dory. It's clearly not. The government has got to get serious about supplying reliable electricity. Otherwise, we'll all be paying more forever. All right, we've already got about a minute left, but I just want to ask you about a story that's on the front page of The Australian today. A Nationals MP Pat Conaghan has been accused of racism by a New South Wales Supreme Court judge over his opposition to an Indigenous voice to Parliament. What do you make of this intervention? Oh, I've never seen anything like it. A few years ago, a few MPs got in trouble for commenting on a case, a court case, uh, and I suppose there needs to be questions asked here whether it, it goes both ways. I mean, apparently this email's been sent from the judge's official email. Uh, is that appropriate for justices to be doing that? There should be a separation, and obviously, between the legislature uh, and uh, the judiciary. Yeah, fascinating. Fascinating. National Senator Matt Canavan, we have to leave it there. We've run out of time. Thank you so much for joining us.